CataractCoach.com, the easy way to fix iris prolapse during cataract surgery. And you can see the iris prolapse and then through the incision. So this case is a routine case. I'll show you the initial incisions have been made well. We're going to do the round capsorexis. Everything looks pretty routine. It's a female patient, so you know there's basically no chance she's taking Flomax or Tamsulosin because, of course, she doesn't have a prostate. So now, let's go to the end of the case. Cataracts removed, cleaning up the capsular bag, a little bit of polishing of the undersurface of the anterior capsular rim. That looks great. And this is where we're going to end up having a little iris prolapse. And I'm going to show you an easy way to resolve this. So again, cleaning up our capsular bag, polishing the rim, looks great. There's a little iris prolapse. Look at the incision there. So push it back in the eye, flatten the AC. Now we'll fill it up with viscoelastic. And when we fill it with viscoelastic, we have more prolapse. So this iris is a little floppy. We push it back in the eye, and now we're going to put another aliquot, a big plug of viscoelastic on top of that iris. Sweep it back in via the paracentesis. It's a little bit of an odd angle. And let's put a big wad of viscoelastic on top of that. That's going to prevent it from gumming in the way of the IOL injector tip. So we'll inject the lens. And you know what's going to happen. When you put the lens in the eye, you're going to also put more viscoelastic. There you see the leading wave of viscoelastic. And as the lens goes inside the eye and the capsular bag here, it's increasing the pressure inside the eye behind the iris. And if you have a high pressure behind the iris and a low pressure in front of it, that pressure gradient is going to cause a prolapse. So there it is. Iris prolapses a little bit more through the incision. Not terrible, but you see it there. So rotating the lens, getting it to unfold, haptics are straightened out, and again, there's iris prolapse. So let's get the viscoelastic out of the eye. So put the probe in here, avoid touching the iris. Clean out, clean out all the viscoelastic, go behind the eye well optic like this. We'll clean out all the viscoelastic from the front part of the eye. And for whatever reason, despite having a good incision, despite having no flow max on board, this patient just has low iris tone and has some prolapse. And so we need to be able to finish the case at the end here without entrapment of iris in the incision. So there's a nice positioning of the lens, good overlap by the rexus. Little bit of iris prolapse coming to the incision. So let's just hydrate and push the iris back. Let's flatten the AC, get the AC pressure to zero. Now let's seal up and hydrate the main phaco incision back and forth, keeping the AC relatively shallow. And now, once we've sealed that up, now we can go through the paracentesis and now deepen the anterior chamber further and also make absolutely certain that there's no iris in the incision at all. You don't want any incision um, stuck with iris. If iris is there, the problem is it's going to be a big leak. It's going to be a nidus of infection. It's going to be bad news. If you have any doubts, go ahead and put the stitch in. In this case, I'm sure it's going to be okay. We're going to check the incision. It'll be perfectly dry. And the iris now is flat and away from the corneal incision. And the chance of prolapse here is very low, especially if the patient's careful without touching the eye. So thanks for watching. Hope you learned how to manage that iris prolapse at the end of the incision. An otherwise normal case. If you want to learn more, there's a lot of good material on cataractcoach.com. You can click and join our free email list. Get a new email to your inbox every day with a great valuable pearl just like this. Five minutes a day is all it takes. Thanks for watching.